Hi, I'm Damien, and nice to meet you again, guys. Today I will talk about 10 social issues and problems that trouble today's teens. Episode 1 Technology Can Amplify the Struggles Teens Face by Amy Morton, LCSW. Social issues are problems that affect large groups of people and can affect how well a society functions. Teens can face social problems just like adults can. They may even be more susceptible to these challenges, because their brains are still developing and their bodies are changing quickly. Social issues and what we might think of as teenage problems can affect emotional and physical health. Advances in technology also mean that today's teens are facing new and different social issues. Electronic media has changed or amplified some teenage troubles. Digital communication has changed the way teens interact with their peers and romantic interests, for example. Digital life also means that many teens lack essential interpersonal communication skills like knowing how to pick up on social cues. Much of this dysfunction can be linked to the use of technology. Teens' social media and texting habits are changing the way they communicate, date, learn, sleep, exercise, and more. The average teen spends over 8 hours each day using electronic devices. While not all social issues are linked to technology, many have complicated relationships with tech and media use. These are the top 10 social issues teens struggle with every day. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, an estimated 4.1 million adolescents in the United States had at least one major depressive episode in 2020. That means 17% of American teenagers may experience depression before reaching adulthood. Data from NIMH also shows that depression is much more prevalent in female teens 25.2% than male teens 9.2% and among teens who reported two or more races 29.9%. Spending too much time on electronic devices may be preventing young people from in-person activities with their peers, such as sports, which can help ward off depression. They also experience new conditions like fear of missing out or FOMO, which further leads to feelings of loneliness and isolation. Depressive disorders are treatable, but it's important to seek professional help. If your teen seems withdrawn, experiences a change in sleep patterns, or starts to perform badly in school, schedule an appointment with your teen's physician or contact a mental health professional. Do not delay getting help for your teen if you notice these symptoms. About 22% of teens in the U.S. experienced bullying in 2019, according to the National Center for Education Statistics. Research suggests that social media has made bullying much more public and more pervasive. Cyberbullying has replaced bullying as the most common type of harassment that teens experience. To help guard against these kinds of teenage troubles, talk to your teen about bullying regularly. Discuss what they can do when they witness bullying and talk about options if they become a target themselves. Being proactive is key to helping your child deal with a bully. It's also important to talk to your child about when and how to get help from an adult. Talking about how someone has humiliated them is never an easy topic. But asking for help is not a sign of weakness. It's a show of courage. In the 2019 Youth Risk Behavior Surveillance System survey, 38% of high school students reported that they had ever had sex. 27.4% said they were currently sexually active. That represents a decline over the past decade 46% had ever had sex in 2009, 34% were currently sexually active. The teen birth rate has declined over the past decade as well. In 2020, the teen birth rate was 15.4, births for every 1,000 females ages 15 until 19, a decline of 8% from 2019 and 75% from the 1991 peak of 61.8. These teen births accounted for less than 5% of total births. Parents may not be aware that their children are sexually active. Talk to your teen about sex and the importance of safe sex practices, even if you don't think your child is engaging in sexual activity. In 2021, about 3% of teens surveyed, in 8, 10, and 12 grades reported using marijuana daily. Marijuana use exceeds cigarette use in teens now, and is evidence. In fact, Many teens believe marijuana is less harmful now than in years past. This new perception may be due to the changing laws surrounding marijuana. Teen use of other substances is declining, according to the Monitoring the Future survey published by the National Institute on Drug Abuse. While this decline has been noted since the survey began in 1975, decreases in 2021 were steep and atypical. Still, it's important to have regular conversations with your teen about the dangers of drugs. 
And don't forget to mention the dangers of prescription drugs too. Many teens do not recognize the dangers of taking a friend's prescription or popping a few pills that are not prescribed to them. Teens often underestimate how easy it is to develop an addiction, and they don't understand the risks associated with overdosing. Be sure you are talking about these risks on a consistent basis. As of 2021, alcohol use and binge drinking continued to show a significant decline among teenagers. Still, 26% of high school seniors surveyed still report drinking alcohol within the past month. Talk to teens about the risks of underage drinking. Educate them about the dangers, including the fact that alcohol can take a serious toll on a teenager's developing brain. Also, do not shy away from expressing your disapproval of underage drinking. Saying you don't approve can make a big difference in whether your teen decides to drink. Okay folks, thanks for watching and see you in episode 2.